The much awaited release of the latest ancient OS 7.0 takes a cake with Android 13 and the latest security update of February 2023 is now being rolled out for a wide range of devices including Redmi Note 8. The wait is finally over for Redmi Note 8 users who can now enjoy latest features and improvements offered by this highly anticipated update. And if you are curious about the latest features, then don't worry. In this video, I'll take you through all the exciting new features and improvements, including Antutu Benchmark Score, CPU Throttling Test, Geekbench 5 and 6 Test, and many more. So now, let's get into our deep review of Ancient OS 7.0. So as you can see this is ancient OS 7.0 and this ROM is running on latest Android version 13. Also it has latest February 5, 2023 security patch available and if you look at its kernel version, I don't really understand which kernel is this. The name of kernel is not properly written and if you recognize this kernel please help us by commenting its name in the comment section below. And if you look below, Ashe Linux status is enforcing and if you want to know what Ashe Linux enforcing and permissive mode means, then comment down, I'll make a detailed video in it. Camera Talking about camera, this ancient OS comes with aperture and MIUI camera which has 48 megapixel camera and every features and modes available in this camera works properly. But at first, when I installed this ROM, this camera was not functioning at all. But after flashing firmware file, now it's working properly for me and from this camera, you can take up to 4K video at 30 FPS. Antutu Benchmark Score Talking about the performance, I'll start with Antutu Benchmark Test and you can see the test results on the screen and the score is 199996 which is not the best but it's a good score for Redmi Note 8. Geekbench 5 Talking about Geekbench 5 score, it gives single core score of 306 and multi core score of 1201 which I consider a better score in terms of single core but in terms of multi core it's an average score compared to other custom rooms. Geekbench 6 after Geekbench 5, I'll show the result of Geekbench 6 and also compare with latest Evolution Act 7.6.2 and as you can see the score. So here also it has shown the same results as on Geekbench 5. The single core score is little higher and multi core score is average. CPU throttling test. So now after Geekbench test, I'll show the results of CPU throttling test and I had run this test for 5 minutes and no CPU thermal throttling was detected but if you look at the average score, it's little less, it should have touched average score of 140. Safety net status. Moving towards safety net, it has passed the safety net compatibility test and on play product certification device is certified as well. Google Photo Stories and talking about our favorite feature Google Photo Stories, yes, it comes with unlimited Google Photos and Video Stories on Google Photos app. User Experience Talking about the user experience, this room offers an incredibly smooth interface. As you can see, there are no lags or interruptions while scrolling and swiping through the screens. Additionally, the speed of app opening and closing as well as the animations are impressive. Please leave a comment as I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Wallpapers and Styles Moving towards Wallpapers and Styles section, there is no such additional features available. You will get same features like wallpaper colors, basic colors and other options like dark theme, theme icons and app grid. And this app grid has only up to 5 into 5 sized grid. Launcher Talking about its launcher, it comes with pixel launcher and from recent app section you will get options like app info, split top, freeform and pause app. And below at footer section of recent app, there are only two options screenshot and select quick action. But you cannot add or remove these quick actions as in its home setting there is no option for recent and you will get simple pixel experience like interface on home setting. 
quick setting this is how quick setting panel looks like and in its quick setting you will find some new tiles that is not present on other custom rooms you will find tiles like auto brightness which will adjust the brightness of screen according to the surroundings navigation bar which will show or hide navigation pill that appears on the top of your screen sleep mode which will disable certain services like wi-fi bluetooth etc to help save battery smart pixel which will reduce some of the screen's pixels to reduce power consumption and will improve battery life and other basic tiles like scan qr code recorder extra dim are also available and all of them are working properly settings now let's see what's inside its settings section and explore its massive customization. First of all, let's talk about its basic settings. In its network and internet, you will find private DNS feature with no any custom DNS provider. In its battery setting, you will find battery usage option and you can see the battery usage graph, battery saver, battery manager, smart charging, battery optimization, sleep mode and other battery overlays like designed capacity, current capacity, charge cycles and temperature are inside battery saver. You will find extreme battery saver feature which will help to extend your battery life further. And moving towards display you will find adaptive brightness and dark theme and inside dark theme there is pure black custom theme present also at last on display you will find display cutout feature and if you like to use this feature and want different cutouts on your phone then you can use it from here but personally i don't like this feature as it disturbs my viewing experience and in security you will find both face and fingerprint security options to secure your phone and i have decrypted this phone but you will see phone is encrypted and if you want to know what is encryption and how to decrypt roms then comment down below i'll make video on that topic too and in its system setting you won't find gestures as well as updater options but Xiaomi Parts is present, which has some old features like MI sound enhancer, clear speaker and other things. So now we have covered almost all of its features available in this room except its craft with heart, where you will find massive customizations in it. Add-on At first, there is add-on options from where you can enable this ancient UI switch option which will display a larger clock in quick setting panel like this and you can change its clock style to 10 different styles as well. And below you will find header image option which looks something like this. And as you can see, you can do lots of customizations on this. You will also get status bar height style option. And if you want to make status bar very big, then select this ATDP, which looks something like this. From here, you can adjust status bar height according to your choice. Status bar. Now I'll move into status bar setting where you'll find options like status bar lyrics, logo, battery bar, network traffic indicator. Also you can customize status bar clock, status bar battery and signal as well as Wi-Fi icon styles but it's not like in other rooms you will find very deep customizations in its every section. Like in its battery icon settings, you can change charging symbols to 10 different styles. Not only this, you can also change its margin, height, width and lots of custom color options as you can see on the screen. Themes Moving towards theme section, you will find quick setting style and there are 10 different quick setting styles present and below there is dialogue corner style options. You can choose between 4 different options and basically it will change the corner of dialogue box that appears on recent app section. And at last you will find Monet custom theme settings from where you can change between 8 different theme styles and you can also change color source and other different options are present. Overall this theme option has lots of theming related customizations which will ultimately change the look of your phone. Similarly from quick settings you can enable this brightness percentage option which will show brightness percentage text next to brightness slider as you can see on the screen. And in button settings, you can enable volume percentage which will display current volume percentage along with volume bar. And talking about volume bar, you can change that volume bar to 5 different styles which looks really unique. 
Also, click to partial screenshot option is also present in its button setting. And from power menu, you can disable power menu on lock screen as well as you can choose which options to show on power menu section and the list is really long. And these gesture settings that was not present inside system setting is shifted here from where you can enable three finger gesture options to take screenshot and on that screenshot you won't get lens search option. Also in gestures you will get this haptic feedback option which will enable haptic tick effect on back gesture and trust me this feature completely changed the user experience to next level. This feature is minor but much effective and similarly other features like hide IME button and advanced gestures options are also present in this gesture setting. And from navigation bar, you can enable this pulse feature, which will show audio visualizer on navigation bar, as well as on quick settings and on lock screen. And not only this, if you use navigation bar, then there are some new and unique nav bar present and some of them are really too good to see. Moving towards animations, you will get Android P animation style, power menu animation, charging animation and animation tiles option. And from battery, you can enable this smart pixel feature that I have already explained earlier on quick settings and block sensor feature is also present, which will selectively block apps from accessing certain battery draining sensors. And from miscellaneous, you can enable game space feature, unlock higher FPS in games, unlimited photo storage on Google Photos app, Netflix spoof, alarm blocker, which will block alarms while screen is off, and other miscellaneous features like parallel space, ignore secure window flag, mute media volume on silent or vibrate, frame rate in screen record, weather settings, signature spoofing which will allow apps to bypass security systems by pretending to be a different app and many other features are present. So overall in its craft with heart section, you will get tons of next level customizations that you won't find on any other custom rooms. I have highlighted some of its unique customizations, but if you explore by yourself, you'll be amazed by its customizations that it provides. So that's all about the latest Android 13 Ancient OS based on February 2023 security update. So that's all about this latest Android 13 Ancient OS based on February 2023 security update. This ROM provides unique and lots of customizations. And if you are looking for a new ROM which provides good user experience, smoothness, customizations and performance, then you should consider this Ancient OS. So what do you think about this room? Share your thoughts and experience related to this room on comment section below. And thank you so much for watching this video. And if you liked my video, then don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, share this video and subscribe to Cracksoid. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.